Good afternoon. Hi, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making my family's favorite meal, which is spaghetti with lobster. Lobster fra diavolo or uh, spaghetto elastice all means the same thing. It's delicious pasta with lobster. Now let's get started with the ingredients. I have here extra virgin olive oil that I will measure later as I put it in the pot. Three large cloves of garlic and a chili pepper for the heat. Two pounds of spaghetti. Five beautiful lobsters, female and males, and I'll teach you later how to tell the difference and which one you might prefer. A Santa Margherita Pinot Grigio, which is one of my favorite ones to drink, and it's also one of my favorite ones to cook with. I have a 14 ounce can of cherry tomatoes and a San Marzano ShopRite brand delicious plum, San Marzano tomatoes, which is a type of a plum. Fresh, fresh parsley, the garlic. So this next part, I'm gonna be cutting the lobsters that are still alive. Might be disturbing to some, but I feel that it's the best way because you steam the lobsters first and then you cook them in the sauce. You're losing all the flavor. Okay, so now right here we have a um, female lobster and this very first, I don't know, legs, they're very soft. And the female lobsters also have a fuzz along the, um, the tail, okay? Unlike the male lobsters, and I know I have a male lobster here. Okay, this one, I don't want it to move. The thing right here is hard, these legs, and there's no fuzz along the tail. The reason why on the female there's a fuzz is because they're protecting their uh, uh, eggs, a gift from Mother Nature. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is remove the claws by just simply twisting them. And the reason I do this in a dish and not on a cutting board is because I want to make sure I don't lose any of the water because that's absolutely all flavor you adding into the lobster. The next thing I'm going to do is snap the top part of the part body by putting your thumb and just removing the top, okay? All right, just discard that. You see the eggs? That's the darker green part, which is you want. The lighter green stuff you could remove and just discard. Now we're going to go ahead, cut the lobster, keep the tail, and usually with the tail I make three pieces, okay? These lobsters are about a pound and a half each, or maybe just a little bit smaller, but I think that's the measurement. You see all this? These are all eggs and that's absolute deliciousness in the uh, sauce. Okay. Now, you could go ahead remove the rubber bands. Before I started this process, I washed the, the lobsters on the cold running water. I'm also showing you this today because Jessica is watching us and Jessica is my daughter's friend who's 25 years old and wants to learn this because her parents' favorite meal is lobster, spaghetti with lobster. But, you know, sometimes it's just hard to go to a restaurant if you want something that's delicious that you can make at home. So you know what, Jessica? This is for you. So you better be making this and sending me pictures. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is continue on um, with the rest, the other four. With a pair of good scissors, I cut the gills along the way because you don't know, really, it's okay if you don't remove them, but it's better if you do, okay? And I also want to show you one more thing that I do, which um, definitely makes a difference, okay? Remember to remove your rubber bands, and what you do, you take a nutcracker and just crack. And what that does that lets the oil and the sauce penetrate into the claws and the flavor is just amazing. Now, meet me by the stove and we'll continue on with the next step. 
Okay, let's get started. I have uh, my flame on medium high. I'm gonna, I measured half a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Let's get started. I also want to mention about the olive oil. When you buy your olive oil, make sure you always taste it. Just to make sure, because I've gotten oil that was not olive oil. So you want to smell the olives and taste the olives. Okay, so here we are. Uh, another great tool for the kitchen is scissors because I will chop up my parsley but the next thing I'm going to put in is the garlic okay just slice it up real quick I don't you if you don't like the garlic in it just put a whole garlic and remove it that's very common we don't mind it because it just melts away and you don't even see it okay so the garlic is going in the chili pepper crushed in half the long chili okay here it goes i'm just gonna do this and watch this now all very quickly i like to do cooking um i like to do delicious food but in a quick way you know i don't want to be in a kitchen for hours and hours plus who's got the time to be in the kitchen but you want to make sure that you make delicious things so you see instead of pulling out a cutting board and and, and the, the special knife, yeah, just like this, and it's perfect. When you put garlic and um, and uh, parsley, it's called pintimoglio in Italian. So we're doing the pintimoglio saute. Now take a look at the lobsters. They're all cut up like I told you. You see I cracked the claws so all the flavors go in. Let's wait for the... Um, the garlic to be a golden color and then we're ready to saute the lobster. My garlic is at a perfect golden color. I'm ready to put in my lobster. Higher your flame to uh, high, put your flame on high and let's get started putting the lobster in. Okay, look at the change, of the, how the colors, the eggs will change color immediately. Take a look at that. Get my wooden spoon. Look at that. You see that? That's all amazing flavor. Okay, now I'm gonna just put it all in. And the reason why I cut it in the clay is because you see all this? This is all flavor. If you do it on a cutting board, you're losing the flavor. Now I just want you to tell I just want to tell you this morning these lobsters were in Maine, okay? And um, thank you to Cosmos uh, Seafood in the Bronx. I picked them up through my friend Lynette and uh, we did a no contact exchange. She left it in the driveway. I left the cash in the mailbox. We're all good and I'm able to bring these delicious lobster. Now, as I'm driving the two hours to go get these lobster, my cousin Patrick calls and says, Alessa, really? So you pick up the lobsters, they were in the water this morning, and they're going to be in your belly this afternoon. That's right, Patrick. Dal mare alla mia pancia. Love you. The, so the lobsters are sautéing beautifully. As this is happening, it's a good time to get your tomato cans ready. The tomatoes ready to put in after you put the wine. So while this is... Uh, sauteing, I'm going to be doing that. No. The lobster's been sauteing roughly seven, eight minutes and it looks ready for the wine. And the reason why you see that it's ready for the wine Pretty much it all has changed in this vibrant orange reddish color so you know that they're sauteed nicely, okay? Now I'm going to ballpark the wine. I'm going to say half a cup. Doesn't really matter. A little bit more, a little bit less. It's okay. Okay. A couple more minutes. For the, the wine to evaporate, this is a very per, important process. Wine is delicious in food, but it needs to evaporate. You don't want to put in your tomatoes when the uh, uh, oil is still wet from the wine. You want to make sure that the alcohol is all evaporated and only the flavor remains.
The one has evaporated and I'm ready. Uh, the oil is frying up nicely and I'm ready for the tomatoes. I'm not going to dirty up any more plates and knives. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do it my grandmother's way. So you get the tomato, you squeeze it in your hand. So if you're more comfortable buying chopped tomatoes, go ahead. This, I always like a plum tomato because I feel that, uh, the San Marzano, I feel that it's not, uh, I don't know what they cut up. But when they're whole tomatoes, they all, always tend to be a lot more beautiful and no, no little uh, spots on them. So I like it like this. But again, if you don't have uh, the San Marzano, if you use the plum, you do whatever works. If chop works for you, you go ahead. Okay? I like to put it in the perimeter of it. Okay, this one that's not chopped because that's where it's frying the most. And there it goes. Now for the cherry tomatoes, be very careful with the cherry tomatoes, you don't want them squirting everywhere. Okay. My flame is on medium high, the tomato sauce is boiling away, the lobster is almost ready, you want the oil to come up. It's not ready yet, you could see that the color of the sauce is just not ready. So, another important tip. Do not put salt yet. Wait till it's almost cooked, and I'll tell you why. Being that the lobsters were in the ocean literally this morning, they carry uh, their own sea salt. So you don't want to add any extra, otherwise you could ruin everything. In the meantime, I've also put on a pot of six quarts of water for my spaghetti. As the spaghetti is boiling, I will be tasting now the um, my lobster sauce. It's perfect. It does not need any salt, so I would leave it like that. The spaghetti looks al dente. What I'm going to do is remove a couple pieces of the lobsters just to make space to uh, finish cooking the spaghetti in the tomato sauce so it all becomes very well amalgamated. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to hire the flame on high. Okay, maybe remove another claw. Okay, now this is the part I start yelling for my children to come down because once the spaghetti is on the table, lo spaghetto non aspetta nessuno. That means the spaghetti waits for no one. Once the, the pasta is ready, the spaghetti is ready, I'm sitting down, I'm eating. They don't come, they don't come, it's fine, but I'm eating. Well, but guess what? They know that I'm making spaghetti tonight. So believe me, once I just give one quick shout, everybody will be coming down. Okay. I'm going to put a ladle of the water just so that the starchiness of the spaghetti pasta gives a creaminess to the, the meal. And it just becomes uh, creamy and gooey and just absolutely delicious one final thing is the the parsley that i cut up with the scissor just to make it completely easy on me and we are ready to eat okay here i am I'm ready okay i'm going to remove the piece of lobster because i want to taste it with my spaghetti okay Wow, looks unbelievable. All right, if you want a little bit more heat, put the olio santo on it. I have a wonderful Santa Margherita Pinot Grigio. And now for the taste test. Oh, wow. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching me. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Be safe. Stay healthy. We're in this together. Together we'll be fine. Cheers. Salute per cent'anni.